The boardroom, a vast expanse of polished mahogany and sleek glass, held an air of formality that could suffocate the bravest of souls. As I entered, the weight of anticipation clung to me like an oppressive fog. The high-backed leather chairs were arranged in a daunting semicircle, each waiting for its occupant. I took my designated seat, nervously adjusting my tie, trying to exude an air of confidence that eluded me. Mr. Anderson entered with a commanding presence, his tailored suit conveying authority in every step. His graying beard framed a face that seemed to hold the wisdom of a thousand corporate battles. As he settled at the head of the table, the room hushed into a silence that amplified the rapid beats of my heart. The projector hummed to life, casting an intense light on the screen. My proposal, meticulously crafted and rehearsed, awaited judgment. Mr. Anderson's penetrating gaze met mine as I began, each slide a step deeper into the labyrinth of my ideas. The first few slides sailed smoothly, but the air shifted when I delved into the heart of my proposal. Mr. Anderson's eyes, once attentive, now squinted in scrutiny. His frown deepened, and I felt the weight of his disapproval before he uttered a single word. Mediocre, he declared, his voice cutting through the air like a surgeon's scalpel. The word hung in the room, a verdict that reverberated within me. The eyes of my colleagues bore into me, their silent judgment echoing the sentiment. I struggled to maintain composure, the sting of humiliation clawing at my insides. The web of self-doubt tightened its grip, threatening to suffocate any remnants of confidence. Mr. Anderson continued to dissect my proposal, pointing out flaws and shortcomings with surgical precision. Each criticism was a blow, and I felt myself spiraling into a pit of inadequacy. As the meeting concluded, the boardroom doors closed behind me, leaving me in the wake of my shattered confidence. The imprint of Mr. Anderson's disapproving gaze lingered, haunting my thoughts. In my quest for approval, I had stumbled into the labyrinth, and the walls of self-doubt seemed insurmountable. The week unfolded with a shadow cast over my every action. The hum of office chatter transformed into distant murmurs, as if the walls themselves whispered about my perceived failure. I sought solace in late nights, revisiting my proposal, dissecting every word in a desperate attempt to salvage my self-worth. The corporate serenade had played its dissonant notes, and I was left to navigate the aftermath. Little did I know this was merely the prelude to a symphony of challenges orchestrated by Mr. Anderson the maestro of my corporate destiny.